Welcome to this short overview video for MAP 2.1. My name is Nigel Galt. I am the Managing Director of Olympic Limited and the Lead Developer for MAP. Um, in 2.1, uh, for those of you who've been following and using MAP, you'll probably uh, remember that we did say that when we released MAP 2.0, we would try and release uh, an interim version. Um, before next year just to uh, put a couple more things in there and fix an, an issue or two um, and the map 2.1 uh, version is that release so um, we've basically added one major addition uh, in 2.1 uh, one new function which is a function called split topic by delimiter now this uh, is a function that came about from a discussion from some users within the MindJet Get Satisfaction uh, community um, and we thought it was something that would be quite interesting to try and do so uh, we went ahead and have, have put that into place and added, added it to MAP um, but basically what this does is it enables you to split topic text into new topics and subtopics um, and that's based on uh, two different types of predefined delimiters and currently you can split the topic text using mind managers inbuilt functionality but that tends to split it either where spaces occur within the text string or where there's a full stop uh, indicating the end of a sentence and um, with the delimiters it really allows you to place uh, place these exactly where you want the topic text to be split independent of anything else so it gives you a greater de degree of flexibility um, so I'm going to show you what happens on an example map because that's the best way to show this um, so in example one um, you can see here we've got a topic and it's marked up with the delimiters the, f the first delimiter is the carrot uh, the carrot character um, this indicates uh, the first piece of text which actually is going to remain as the if you like the main topic so where we have the sentence which says create flexible flowcharts using the new flowchart templates and topic shapes that's actually going to stay that text will stay on the current topic that we've got got selected here the other delimiter is the tilde character um, and where we place this what that does is it takes the preceding text so it's going to take oops let me just get into that it's going to take this preceding text here and it will effectively add that as a new subtopic onto the topic that is left by this text here. Okay, so the best way to show you that is to see it in action. I mean, uh, the command that itself has been added to the topic actions, um, and it will only be enabled when you have a topic selected that contains both of these characters. So I'm going to run that on example one, and that'll give you an idea of what I was talking about. So as you can see now, this one has changed. We've kept the, the first set of text that was um, preceding the caret character, and the subsequent ones where we've used the tilde delimiter have been added to that as subtopics. So I'm just going to show you example two now, and you can see on this one what I've done is I've actually added some sections. So we've got sections with one, two, three, and four. I've put a, uh, a caret character behind each of those because I want each of those to become a main topic and then I want subsequent tilde delimiters to be added to those individual main topics so again you can see how this will enable you to quickly break down and build up uh, topic structures um, but the beauty of this is that with the, the delimiters you can place exactly where you want those splits to occur so that's the new function for uh, 2.1 so let's get back and have a look. Um, we've had some minor additions uh, to Map Sweep in 2.1 as well. And what we've done here is we've added the ability to sweep formulas and properties. Now, when you sweep properties, um, that will actually include formulas as well. Um, so what I'm going to do again is just show you that with an example map. Um, so if we wanted to sweep the properties just off of these three topics here, we can just come up here clean properties and they're gone okay um, the formulas one will actually just extract out any formulas that are in the selection so again clean formulas and that will leave the other properties alone and leave them in place and on the map sweep um, if you look over in the new task pane and go to the settings both of those options have now been added okay sure where my settings have gone 
got something going on with my manager there. Let's just give me a sec. There we go. So you can see that formulas and properties are now added so you can include them as they're shown here for when you run a default clean on a map so that it will pull those out as well. Okay, so that's the uh, minor addition on Map Sweep. Um, we've got no user enhancement uh, improvements at the moment. We have got some that we're working on and they will be included in the Map 2.2 release. Um, and the map 2.2 release will be out in Q1 of next year. Um, we did have a bug problem uh, with property renamer which was introduced uh, in 2.0. Uh, there was an issue with that where uh, it would dis open up the wrong dialog box when it was uh, actually activated. So that's now been fixed and actually now the correct dialog will um, will display so if anyone was having a problem with that uh, if you download the 2.1 version of map that will now be fixed. And as always, we've obviously updated the uh, help map um, for the uh, new version. And what we're continuing to do now is to include this topic in the help map here, um, which basically will just give a very quick overview of what's been added uh, in general. Um, we brought that in with 2.1 uh, 2.0, sorry, as you can see here. Uh, and what we'll be doing is we'll just grey out the previous entry and put the new entry on top so that you'll have a running history of what has changed depending upon the version you're running. Um, it also means if you're uh, running a version and you think, oh, I wonder what, what, what version I've got, you can come into here and see exactly where you're at. So if you've seen that 2.2 is advertised and you've only looking at, you're only looking at what's new in 2.1, then you know that there's something new for you to, to get your hands on. So other than that, um, all that's really left is to talk about what's coming up with MAP, um, as we always do in these videos. Um, currently, at the moment, we've got some festive specials. They've been in place since the 1st of December and will run through till the 4th of January. Um, and basically, we've got two uh, elements to that. We've uh, got a saving of £20 on any of the current Olympic add-ins, which includes uh, MAP 2.1. Uh, it also includes Task for Maps and WordX and Topic Tracker. Um, and we also have, for those of you who, who want to actually uh, just get started with add-ins or uh, don't have all four of those add-ins, you can actually get all four for a single price of £75, uh, obviously excluding any sales tax, um, which is a saving of £45. So um, a really good uh, opportunity if you're interested in finding out more about add-ins and you've seen something that you like within Map, um, then a really good time to actually uh, get your My Manager collection started. These add-ins are only for the Windows version of My Manager. We we can't develop on the Mac platform um, as there's no API for us to do so. So just be clear that if you're a Mac user, unfortunately, um, you won't be able to take advantage of any of uh, any of our add-ins. Um, and finally, Map 2.2. Um, we're looking to release that probably in um, March. So we're looking Q1 2016, it will be probably towards the latter part of March. Um, and we're hoping to add two or three new functions in there. Um, we really have been getting some great feedback from the users and from the community. And um, it's given us um, quite an, uh, quite a little stockpile of things that we, we can work on. In fact, we've, we've got quite a lot that we can work on, probably too much and trying to um, pick the uh, uh, the ones that we feel will add the most value is becoming quite hard because they're all so good um, but um, we will be working our way through them next year um, we will be trying to put as much into each uh, quarterly release as we can um, so that you continue to get the benefit from map um, and as I say you know we've had some great feedback but please keep it coming um, and, and please keep your ideas coming forward it's what drives us and it's what helps us to continue to do this um, and don't be afraid of, uh, uh, of of sending us ideas even if you think they may be silly or um, you know that you might think that they're only it's only you that might use it in a, a function in that particular way if it's something that we can do and and the time uh, time investment is not too uh, to onerous then um, we'll, we'll obviously look at it for you and we'll try and uh, implement these things where we can. So I think all that leaves me uh, left to say is to wish everybody a very very happy Christmas um, and I hope that you all have a, 
um, a very happy and prosperous uh, 2016 and thank you for all your support in the last year um, especially around map and with our other add-ins as well for those of you who are using them um, we really couldn't do this without you and um, we hope that we can continue to do this for you for many years to come so happy Christmas and a happy new year and I will talk to you again in 2016